Have you ever wondered if the items in your bag could be blocking your financial success? Do you feel overwhelmed by financial scarcity despite your best efforts? What if a simple habit change could invite more abundance into your life? Imagine carrying something in your bag every day that silently hinders your financial progress. What if removing it could transform your financial situation? Intrigued? Stick around to find out how you can unblock your path to wealth. Picture this, a person struggling with finances despite working hard. They might be carrying unnecessary items in their bag, unknowingly creating blockages. What if cleaning out their bag could open the door to prosperity? Welcome to Wisdom Woven. In today's video, we'll explore how the things you carry in your bag might be affecting your wealth. By the end of this video, you'll understand how to remove these blockages and invite prosperity into your life. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven. Let's aim for 1,000 likes on this video to bring something different to our audience. Let's start by thinking about why we often feel like we don't have enough money. Many of us feel this way even when we work hard. This feeling can come from focusing on what we don't have instead of what we do have. Imagine someone who is always busy and tired, yet never seems to get ahead financially. Their constant worry about not having enough can actually make it harder to gain wealth. Buddha taught that our thoughts shape our reality. By changing our mindset from scarcity to abundance, we open ourselves to more opportunities and wealth. Now, think about the stuff you carry in your bag every day. Clutter can block the flow of positive energy, just like clutter in our minds can block clear thinking. Imagine your bag full of old receipts, broken items, and loose change. This mess can weigh you down both physically and mentally. Buddha's teachings on non-attachment remind us to let go of things we don't need. By cleaning out our bags and our minds, we can make space for new, positive energy that attracts wealth. Mindfulness is another powerful tool. Sometimes we don't realize how small things in our daily lives affect our overall well-being and finances. Picture a busy person who doesn't pay attention to the clutter in their bag. This small oversight can lead to bigger problems, like feeling overwhelmed and less productive. Being mindful helps us make better choices. Buddha taught that everything is connected. By being mindful of our choices, we can create a positive ripple effect on our finances. In this video, we'll dive deeper into these ideas and give you practical steps to bring more abundance into your life. From regular bag cleaning to mindful spending, each step will help you clear blockages and invite prosperity. Stay tuned to learn how to transform your relationship with money by making simple, mindful changes. One of the first steps to financial abundance is recognizing the impact of our thoughts and surroundings. Our thoughts shape our reality, and the clutter in our lives reflects the clutter in our minds. By addressing both, we can create a clear path to wealth. Take a moment to reflect on the items you carry daily. Are they useful and positive, or are they just weighing you down? By making conscious choices about what we carry, we can create a positive environment that attracts prosperity. Mindfulness plays a crucial role in this process. By being present and aware of our actions, we can make better financial decisions. For example, regularly reviewing and cleaning out our bags can help us stay organized and focused, leading to better financial outcomes. Buddha's wisdom teaches us the importance of non-attachment. By letting go of unnecessary items, we free ourselves from the burden of excess. This practice creates space for new opportunities and positive energy to flow into our lives. As we move forward, we'll explore practical steps to apply these teachings to our daily lives. From decluttering our bags to practicing mindfulness in our spending, each step will help us align our actions with our financial goals. Stay with us on this journey to discover how simple changes can lead to profound transformations. By the end of this video, you'll have the tools and insights needed to remove financial blockages and invite abundance into your life. Thank you for joining us on Wisdom Woven. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Let's reach our target of 1,000 likes on this video to bring something unique to our audience. 
Stay tuned for more valuable insights and practical advice to transform your financial journey. Lesson 1. Understanding Financial Scarcity Have you ever felt like no matter how hard you work, financial abundance seems out of reach? Many of us struggle with this feeling of scarcity, where we focus more on what we lack rather than appreciating what we have. Imagine someone who works tirelessly but still feels stressed about money. This constant worry can create a cycle that keeps them from achieving financial stability. It's like being stuck in quicksand. The more you struggle, the deeper you sink. This perception of scarcity isn't just a mental state. It affects our decisions and actions. When we constantly worry about not having enough, we may make poor financial choices like overspending or avoiding investments that could grow our wealth. This mindset can even impact our health and relationships, spreading negativity into every aspect of our lives. But there's hope. Buddha taught that our thoughts shape our reality. By shifting our mindset from scarcity to abundance, we can open ourselves to new opportunities and invite prosperity into our lives. It's about changing the lens through which we view our circumstances, focusing on gratitude for what we do have rather than dwelling on what's lacking. Mindfulness plays a crucial role here. It's about being aware of our thoughts and emotions without judgment. By practicing mindfulness, we can catch ourselves in negative thought patterns about money and redirect our focus. This shift allows us to see possibilities we might have overlooked before, empowering us to make better financial decisions. Imagine transforming your relationship with money from one of stress and worry to one of confidence and abundance. This isn't about ignoring financial challenges but facing them with a clear and open mind. By cultivating a mindset of abundance, we become more resourceful and resilient in handling financial setbacks. Let's consider a story to illustrate this transformation. There was once a person who felt trapped in a cycle of financial stress. Despite working hard, they always felt like they were barely getting by. Then, they discovered the power of mindfulness and gratitude. Instead of focusing on what they didn't have, they started appreciating the small victories and opportunities in their life. Over time, this shift in mindset led to new avenues of income and financial growth they hadn't seen before. They began to attract positive experiences and opportunities simply by changing how they thought about money. This story teaches us that our thoughts indeed shape our reality. By adopting a mindset of abundance, we can turn our financial situation around. In conclusion, understanding financial scarcity is the first step towards overcoming it. By recognizing and addressing this mindset, we can start making positive changes in our financial lives. It's about shifting from fear and lack to gratitude and abundance. Stay tuned as we explore practical steps to help you transform your relationship with money and invite prosperity into your life. And remember, your mindset is the key to unlocking a brighter financial future. Lesson 2. The Impact of Personal Belongings on Wealth have you ever stopped to think about how the things you carry with you every day could affect your financial well-being? It turns out, our personal belongings play a significant role in shaping our wealth, often in ways we may not realize. Consider this. Imagine your bag is filled with old receipts, broken items, and loose change. It's not just physical clutter. This mess can actually create mental clutter too. When our bags are disorganized, it can make us feel stressed and overwhelmed, affecting our ability to focus on important financial goals. Buddha's teachings on non-attachment remind us of the importance of letting go of things that no longer serve us. By regularly cleaning out our bags and being mindful of what we carry, we can create space for clarity and positivity. This practice isn't just about physical cleanliness. It's about clearing out mental blocks that hinder our financial prosperity. Think about someone who always has a messy bag. They might spend unnecessary time searching for things, feeling frustrated and distracted. This disorganization can spill over into their financial habits, leading to impulsive spending or missed opportunities to save. On the other hand, imagine a person who regularly declutters their bag. They keep only what's necessary and valuable. This simple habit can bring a sense of lightness and control making it easier to focus on financial priorities. 
When our external environment is organized, it reflects and supports a more organized approach to managing money. Let's delve into a story of someone who transformed their financial life by decluttering. This person used to carry around a heavy bag filled with unnecessary items. They felt weighed down and stressed, often losing important things in the clutter. After learning about the benefits of decluttering, they decided to take action. They started by cleaning out their bag, removing old receipts and broken items. This small change made a big difference. They felt lighter and more focused. As they became more mindful of what they carried, they also became more mindful of their spending and saving habits. Over time, their finances improved because they were making clearer and more intentional choices. Buddha taught us that our external environment reflects our internal state. When we carry unnecessary burdens in our bags, we carry unnecessary burdens in our minds as well. By simplifying our physical surroundings, we create mental space for abundance and prosperity to flow in. To sum it up, the impact of personal belongings on our wealth goes beyond just the physical. It's about how our external environment influences our internal mindset and habits. By decluttering our bags and our lives, we can remove obstacles that block financial abundance and invite more positive energy into our journey. Stay tuned as we explore more ways to enhance your financial well-being through mindfulness and intentional living. Remember, small changes can lead to significant transformations in your relationship with money. Lesson 3. Mindfulness and Interconnectedness Have you ever noticed how small decisions can have big impacts on your finances? Imagine this. Every purchase, every choice, every moment of your day, influencing not just your present but your financial future. That's where mindfulness comes in a powerful tool that can transform how you manage your money and attract abundance into your life. Mindfulness is simply about being present and aware. It's about paying attention to your thoughts, feelings, and actions in the here and now. When you're mindful, you're not just going through the motions. You're actively making choices that align with your goals and values. Think about it this way. When you rush through your day, distracted and stressed, your financial decisions might become hasty and less thought out. On the other hand, when you practice mindfulness, you become more deliberate. You start noticing patterns in your spending, areas where you can save, and opportunities to invest wisely. Buddha taught that everything in our lives is interconnected. Our thoughts, actions, and environment all influence each other. When you apply this principle to your finances, you realize that small changes can create ripple effects. For instance, by being mindful of your daily expenses, you might uncover ways to cut costs and redirect that money towards savings or investments. Mindfulness also helps you break free from unconscious spending habits. Have you ever bought something on impulse and later regretted it? By practicing mindfulness, you become aware of these impulses. You pause, evaluate whether the purchase aligns with your financial goals, and then decide consciously. Moreover, mindfulness extends beyond spending. It's about managing your entire financial life with clarity and purpose. This means regularly reviewing your budget, tracking your expenses, and planning for the future. When you're mindful, you're proactive rather than reactive when it comes to money. One effective way to cultivate mindfulness is through meditation. Meditation allows you to quiet the noise of everyday life and focus inward. It's a practice that enhances your self-awareness and reduces stress, which can positively impact your financial decision-making. Consider this story. Someone who used to feel overwhelmed by their financial responsibilities started meditating daily. Over time, they became more attuned to their spending habits and emotions around money. This awareness empowered them to make smarter financial choices and ultimately achieve their savings goals. By embracing mindfulness, you not only gain clarity in your financial decisions, but also develop a healthier relationship with money. You learn to appreciate what you have, manage challenges calmly, and stay open to opportunities. It's a mindset shift from reacting to circumstances to actively shaping your financial future. In conclusion, Mindfulness isn't just a buzzword. It's a transformative practice that can lead to greater financial well-being. Whether you're saving for a goal, managing debt, 
or planning for retirement, being mindful can help you navigate these challenges with confidence and resilience. Stay tuned as we explore practical tips to integrate mindfulness into your daily financial routine. Together, let's unlock the power of mindfulness and interconnectedness to invite abundance into your life. Lesson 4 Energy Signatures of Belongings Have you ever felt a sudden shift in your mood just by touching something? Our everyday items carry more than just physical weight. They hold energy that can affect our well-being, including our financial prosperity. Imagine your bag filled with various items. Old receipts, broken trinkets, loose change. Each of these items carries its own energy signature based on its history and the emotions attached to it. Think about that crumpled receipt from a stressful purchase. It might remind you of regret or financial strain every time you see it. These negative energies can accumulate in our lives without us even realizing it, creating subtle barriers to our success. By becoming aware of these energy signatures and managing them mindfully, we can start to create a more positive and supportive environment for ourselves. Regularly cleaning out your bag is like clearing out the clutter in your mind. It's about letting go of what no longer serves you. Imagine the feeling of lightness and clarity when you remove unnecessary items and only keep what brings you joy or serves a clear purpose. This simple act can make a significant difference in how you feel and how you attract opportunities into your life. Broken items in your bag can symbolize unresolved issues or challenges that weigh you down. By repairing or discarding these items, you release the stagnant energy they hold and create space for new possibilities. It's not just about physical clutter, it's about emotional and energetic clutter too. When you free yourself from these burdens, you make room for positive energies to flow. Loose change scattered in your bag might seem insignificant, but it reflects your attitude towards money and resources. Gathering and organizing this loose change can symbolize your commitment to valuing and managing all your resources effectively. It's a small step that demonstrates mindfulness and respect for the things that contribute to your financial well-being. Branded merchandise, like promotional items with logos, can carry the energy of consumerism and materialism. While these items might seem harmless, having too many of them can contribute to a cluttered and distracted mind. Being selective about what you keep and ensuring that it truly adds value to your life can help maintain a clear and focused mindset. Food wrappers and packaging in your bag can also carry negative energy if left unattended. These items symbolize neglect and can contribute to a sense of disorder in your life. By promptly disposing of them, you create a clean and organized space that supports clarity and intentionality in your financial decisions. Consider the story of someone who transformed their life by understanding these energy signatures. They used to carry around a bag filled with items that drained their energy, broken trinkets, old receipts, and loose change. After realizing how these items affected their mood and mindset, they decided to clean out their bag regularly. They focused on keeping only what was essential and uplifting. Over time, they noticed a shift in their financial well-being as they became more intentional about their choices and surroundings. Buddha's teachings remind us that our external environment reflects our internal state. By being mindful of the energy signatures of our belongings, we can create a harmonious space that supports our goals. It's not just about physical cleanliness. It's about cultivating a positive mindset and attracting abundance into our lives. In conclusion, the energy signatures of our belongings play a crucial role in shaping our financial well-being. By clearing out negative energies and inviting positive ones, we create a space that fosters abundance and prosperity. This practice, rooted in mindfulness, allows us to align our external environment with our inner goals, paving the way for greater financial success and overall well-being. Lesson 5 Negative Impact of Common Items Have you ever stopped to think about the everyday items you carry in your bag? It turns out they might be silently impacting your financial well-being more than you realize. In this part, we'll explore how seemingly harmless items can have a negative energy that affects your prosperity. Consider the receipts cluttering your wallet or bag. Each receipt represents a past expense, some of which may not align with your financial goals. 
These slips of paper can subtly remind you of money spent unwisely, influencing your mindset towards finances. Broken items are another culprit. That cracked phone case or pen that doesn't work properly can symbolize unfinished tasks or neglected repairs. These small but persistent reminders of imperfection can affect your mood and productivity, indirectly impacting your financial decisions. Loose change, while seemingly insignificant, can also play a role. When scattered at the bottom of your bag, it reflects a scattered approach to finances. Each coin lost and forgotten represents potential savings or mindful spending that could benefit your financial health. Branded merchandise, often given away freely, can clutter your space and mind. Pens, keychains, or notepads with logos may seem harmless, but they can contribute to a cluttered mindset, emphasizing consumerism over mindful resource management. Food wrappers and packaging are frequent offenders as well. They accumulate quickly, adding to the physical clutter in your bag. Beyond that, they represent a lack of attention to your immediate surroundings and well-being, which can translate into how you manage your finances. Each of these items carries an energy signature, a subtle influence on your thoughts and emotions. By clearing out unnecessary clutter and paying attention to what you carry, you can create a more positive environment for financial growth. Imagine how it would feel to open your bag and see only what is necessary and uplifting. A tidy, organized bag can mirror a clear, focused mind ready to tackle financial challenges with clarity and purpose. In the next sections, we'll discuss practical steps you can take to declutter your bag and your mind. These steps will help you identify which items serve you and which ones may be holding you back from financial abundance. Stay tuned as we explore the deeper connections between our physical environment and our financial well-being. By understanding and managing the impact of common items, you can pave the way for a more prosperous future. Remember, small changes in your daily habits can lead to significant improvements in your financial outlook. Let's uncover how to turn these insights into actionable steps that align with your goals and aspirations. Join us as we delve deeper into the subtle influences around us and learn how to transform them into catalysts for financial success. By the end of this part, you'll have practical tools to start making positive changes in your everyday life. Together, Let's create a mindset shift towards a more intentional and prosperous future. By taking control of the items in your bag, you're taking a powerful step towards inviting greater abundance and financial well-being into your life. Don't miss out on the opportunity to declutter not just your physical space, but also your financial mindset. Stay with us as we uncover more insights that could potentially transform your relationship with money for the better. In the upcoming segments, We'll share stories and real-world examples of individuals who have implemented these strategies with remarkable results. Their journeys will inspire you to rethink how you approach the items you carry and their impact on your financial journey. Stay engaged and explore how you can create a more harmonious connection between your personal belongings and your financial goals. Together, let's unlock the potential for greater financial freedom and abundance. This isn't just about organizing your bag. It's about creating a foundation for financial success that starts with mindful awareness and intentional action. Join us on this journey towards clarity, focus, and prosperity. As we move forward, keep in mind that every item you choose to carry has the potential to shape your financial story. Let's discover how to make conscious choices that support your journey towards a more abundant and fulfilling life. Thank you for being here with us. Together, we're uncovering the transformative power of decluttering and mindfulness in enhancing your financial well-being. Lesson 6 Buddhist Teachings on Abundance In today's fast-paced world, achieving true abundance often feels like a distant dream. We work hard, yet financial stability seems elusive. But what if there were timeless teachings that could unlock the path to prosperity? Enter Buddhism a philosophy that offers profound insights not just into spiritual growth, but also into the realm of wealth and abundance. Buddhist teachings reveal that abundance isn't just about material wealth. It's a state of mind and being. At its core is the principle of impermanence. This concept reminds us that nothing stays the same forever, 
including our financial circumstances. This understanding can bring hope and motivation during times of financial difficulty, knowing that positive change is always possible. Mindfulness, another cornerstone of Buddhism, plays a crucial role in achieving financial abundance. By being fully present in our financial decisions, we become more aware of our spending habits and can make choices that align with our long-term goals. Mindful spending isn't just about saving money. It's about investing in what truly matters and brings lasting fulfillment. Generosity, or dana, is a virtue highly regarded in Buddhist practice. It's not merely about giving away wealth, but cultivating a mindset of abundance and gratitude. When we give freely, whether in monetary terms or through acts of kindness, we create a positive ripple effect that enhances our own sense of well-being and attracts more positivity into our lives. Non-attachment is another key teaching. It encourages us to let go of clinging to material possessions and outcomes. This doesn't mean renouncing wealth, but rather appreciating it without being enslaved by it. By releasing the fear of loss and attachment to wealth, we free ourselves to pursue opportunities and enjoy prosperity without being consumed by it. Interconnectedness teaches us that our actions, thoughts, and environment are all interconnected. This principle invites us to consider how our financial decisions impact not only our own lives, but also the world around us. By making mindful choices that support both personal and collective well-being, we contribute to a more harmonious and prosperous society. The practice of contentment, or santasha, encourages us to find joy and fulfillment in what we already have, rather than constantly chasing after more. It's about cultivating a sense of inner wealth that transcends material possessions. When we appreciate and are content with what we have, we naturally attract more abundance into our lives. Wisdom, gained through knowledge and experience, guides us in making sound financial decisions. In Buddhism, wisdom is cultivated through mindfulness and reflection. By learning from our past financial mistakes and successes, we can navigate future challenges with clarity and confidence. The principle of right livelihood emphasizes the importance of earning a living through ethical means that do not harm others or oneself. This teaching encourages us to align our professional endeavors with our values and principles. When our work is aligned with our beliefs, it not only brings financial rewards, but also a sense of fulfillment and purpose. Gratitude or katanuta is the practice of acknowledging and appreciating the blessings in our lives. When we cultivate gratitude for our financial resources, however limited they may seem, we shift our focus from scarcity to abundance. This shift in perspective opens us up to receiving more blessings and opportunities for financial growth. Patience, or Kanti, is a virtue that teaches us to endure difficulties with a positive attitude. Financial success often requires persistence and resilience in the face of challenges. By cultivating patience, we can stay committed to our financial goals and navigate setbacks with grace and determination. Compassion, or karuna, extends beyond ourselves to others who may be less fortunate. When we practice compassion in our financial decisions, we contribute to creating a more equitable and compassionate society. Compassionate giving and investing can have far-reaching effects on both individual lives and communities. The practice of simplicity encourages us to live with fewer material possessions and desires. By simplifying our lives, we reduce the distractions that often lead to financial stress and dissatisfaction. This practice allows us to focus on what truly matters and brings us genuine happiness and contentment. Humility, or nibbida, is the recognition of the impermanence and unsatisfactory nature of worldly achievements. While financial success is desirable, it's important to remain humble and grounded. This attitude helps us avoid the pitfalls of arrogance and greed, fostering healthy relationships with wealth and others. Balance, or samadhiti, is about finding harmony in all aspects of life, including finances. It encourages us to avoid extremes, such as excessive spending or hoarding wealth. By maintaining balance in our financial practices, we ensure sustainable prosperity and well-being for ourselves and others. The principle of skillful means, or upaya, 
teaches us to adapt our financial strategies to different situations. It emphasizes creativity and flexibility in achieving our financial goals while remaining true to our values. By employing skillful means, we can overcome obstacles and seize opportunities for growth and prosperity. Integrity, or sila, is the foundation of ethical conduct in Buddhist practice. It guides us to act with honesty, fairness, and responsibility in all financial matters. When we uphold integrity in our financial dealings, we build trust and credibility, paving the way for long-term success and prosperity. The practice of detachment, or viraga, teaches us to cultivate a sense of detachment from material possessions and worldly attachments. By reducing our dependence on external wealth for happiness, we free ourselves from the anxiety and stress that often accompany financial concerns. This inner freedom allows us to pursue our financial goals with clarity and peace of mind. The principle of self-reliance, or adidaipa, encourages us to take personal responsibility for our financial well-being. While seeking support and guidance from others is valuable, self-reliance empowers us to make independent and informed decisions about our finances. By developing financial literacy and skills, we can navigate economic challenges with confidence and resilience. The practice of perseverance, or adhithana, emphasizes the importance of steadfast determination in achieving our financial goals. It encourages us to stay focused and committed, even in the face of obstacles and setbacks. By cultivating perseverance, we strengthen our resolve and increase our chances of long-term financial success. Ultimately, Buddhist teachings on abundance offer a holistic approach to achieving financial well-being. By integrating these timeless principles into our lives, we can cultivate a mindset of abundance, make wise financial decisions, and create a more prosperous and fulfilling future for ourselves and others. Lesson 7, The Power of Non-Attachment. Welcome to part 8 of our journey to understand how what we carry in our bags affects our financial well-being. Today, we delve into a profound concept from Buddhism that can transform your relationship with money. Non-attachment. Think about your bag right now. How many things do you carry that you haven't used in weeks, maybe even months? Old receipts, broken items, loose change. They all accumulate and weigh us down. But why do we hold on to these things? It's often because we attach value to them, sentimental or practical. Non-attachment, as taught by Buddha, encourages us to let go of what no longer serves us. It's not about getting rid of everything, but about discerning what truly adds value to our lives. By clearing out what we don't need, both physically and mentally, we create space for new energy and opportunities to flow in. Imagine your bag becoming lighter, not just physically but emotionally. This lightness reflects in your financial decisions too. When we're attached to material possessions, we might overspend or hoard money out of fear. Non-attachment frees us from these habits, allowing us to spend mindfully and invest wisely. It's a practice of mindfulness, being aware of what we hold on to and why. This awareness extends beyond physical belongings to our attitudes towards money itself. Are we holding on to a scarcity mindset fearing loss and clinging to what we have. Non-attachment invites us to shift towards an abundance mindset, trusting in the flow of wealth and knowing that we have enough. Non-attachment doesn't mean detachment from responsibilities or goals. Instead, it's about detachment from the grip of craving and fear that often cloud our financial decisions. By releasing this grip, we open ourselves to creative solutions and unexpected opportunities. Consider the story of someone who applied non-attachment to their finances. They used to worry constantly about money, hoarding every penny and feeling anxious about spending. Through practice, they learned to let go of this fear. They started budgeting more effectively, investing confidently, and even giving generously when they could. Buddha taught that attachment leads to suffering because nothing in life is permanent. By embracing non-attachment, we cultivate resilience in the face of financial challenges. We learn to appreciate what we have without clinging desperately to it. Non-attachment also fosters gratitude. When we're not fixated on what we lack, we can fully appreciate the abundance that surrounds us, the opportunities, 
relationships, and resources that contribute to our well-being. Practicing non-attachment is a journey, not an overnight change. Start by examining what you carry in your bag and why. Are there items you can let go of to create space for more meaningful experiences? Apply this principle to your finances too. Can you let go of old financial habits that no longer serve your goals? As you practice non-attachment, observe how it transforms your relationship with money. Notice the sense of freedom and clarity that comes with letting go. Embrace the flow of abundance that follows when you release the grip of attachment. In conclusion, non-attachment is a powerful tool for achieving financial freedom and inner peace. It teaches us that true wealth lies not in what we possess, but in our ability to let go and trust in the natural abundance of life. Let's embark on this journey together, clearing out what no longer serves us to make room for prosperity and fulfillment. Lesson 8. Creating Positive Financial Habits Are you ready to transform your financial life? In this part, we'll explore how simple habits can pave the way to financial prosperity. Many of us dream of financial security, but achieving it often feels like an uphill battle. What if I told you that by making small changes in your daily routines, you could significantly impact your financial well-being? Let's start with the power of consistency. Building positive financial habits is like laying a strong foundation for a sturdy house. Each small action, whether it's saving a portion of your income or tracking your expenses, contributes to your financial stability over time. Just imagine the peace of mind that comes from knowing you're in control of your finances. One crucial habit is budgeting. It's not about restricting yourself, but rather about understanding where your money goes. By creating a budget, you gain clarity on your spending patterns and can make adjustments to align with your financial goals. Budgeting allows you to prioritize what's important and cut out unnecessary expenses that might be holding you back. Another powerful habit is saving regularly. Even setting aside a small amount each month can accumulate into a substantial sum over time. This habit not only prepares you for emergencies, but also gives you the freedom to pursue opportunities when they arise without financial stress. Let's talk about mindful spending. It's easy to get caught up in impulse purchases or buying things we don't really need. Mindful spending encourages us to pause and consider whether a purchase aligns with our values and goals. It's about making intentional choices that support our long-term financial well-being. Investing is another crucial habit to consider. While it may seem daunting at first, Investing allows your money to work for you and grow over time. Whether it's in stocks, bonds, or real estate, investing can help you build wealth and achieve your financial dreams. Now, let's address debt management. Many people find themselves burdened by debt, which can hinder financial progress. Developing a plan to pay off debt systematically, starting with high-interest loans, can free up resources and accelerate your journey towards financial freedom. Emergency funds are essential for financial security. Life is unpredictable, and having savings set aside for unexpected expenses or job loss can provide a safety net, reducing financial stress during challenging times. Have you considered your financial goals? Setting clear, achievable goals gives you direction and motivation. Whether it's buying a home, starting a business, or retiring comfortably, Defining your goals allows you to create a roadmap for success. Tracking your progress is equally important. Regularly reviewing your financial situation helps you stay on track towards your goals. It allows you to celebrate achievements and adjust your strategies as needed. Let's not forget about the power of education. Continuously learning about personal finance, investing, and money management empowers you to make informed decisions and adapt to changing economic conditions. Automating your finances can simplify your life and ensure that your financial obligations are met consistently. Setting up automatic transfers for savings, bills, and investments reduces the chance of missed payments and helps you stick to your financial plan. Lastly, cultivating a positive mindset towards money is crucial. Believe that you deserve financial success and abundance. By fostering a mindset of abundance, you attract opportunities and solutions to achieve your goals. In conclusion, 
Creating positive financial habits isn't just about managing money. It's about transforming your relationship with money. These habits lay the groundwork for financial security, allowing you to live a life free from financial stress and full of opportunities. Start small, stay consistent, and watch as your financial future begins to flourish. Are you ready to take control of your finances? Let's embark on this journey together towards a brighter financial future. Lesson 9. Creating Positive Financial Habits Are you ready to transform your relationship with money? In this part of our journey, we're diving into practical steps that can truly make a difference in your financial well-being. Imagine a life where financial decisions feel empowering rather than overwhelming. It all starts with cultivating positive habits that align with your goals and values. Think about your daily routines. How often do you consciously think about your spending habits? Small changes in your habits can lead to significant improvements in your financial situation. It's not just about budgeting. It's about creating a mindset that fosters prosperity and abundance. Let's start with the basics. Have you considered setting clear financial goals? Whether it's saving for a vacation, paying off debt, or investing for the future, having specific goals gives you direction and motivation. Each financial goal acts as a milestone on your path to financial success. Next, let's talk about budgeting. It might sound daunting, but it's a fundamental tool for financial management. Budgeting helps you track your income and expenses, ensuring that you're living within your means and prioritizing your financial goals. With budgeting, you gain control over your money instead of letting it control you. Now, let's address spending habits. Mindful spending means being intentional about where your money goes. Before making a purchase, ask yourself, do I really need this? Will it bring long-term value or satisfaction? By practicing mindful spending, you avoid impulse purchases and allocate your resources wisely. Saving is another crucial aspect. It's not just about setting aside money for emergencies. It's about preparing for future opportunities. Start small if you must, but make saving a regular habit. Over time, your savings will grow, providing you with a sense of security and freedom. Investing takes your financial journey to the next level. It's about making your money work for you. Whether it's stocks, bonds, real estate, or retirement accounts, investing allows your wealth to grow over time. Seek guidance if needed, but don't underestimate the power of smart investments in building long-term wealth. Debt management is also vital. Not all debt is bad, but it's essential to manage it wisely. Prioritize paying off high-interest debts while maintaining a healthy credit score. Being proactive about debt repayment frees up resources for other financial goals. Financial education plays a crucial role in this journey. Stay informed about personal finance topics, investment strategies, and economic trends. Knowledge empowers you to make informed decisions and adapt to changing financial landscapes. Automation can simplify your financial life. Set up automatic transfers for savings, investments, and bill payments. This ensures consistency and discipline in your financial habits, reducing the risk of overspending or missed payments. Review your financial progress regularly. Celebrate your achievements and learn from your setbacks. Adjust your strategies as needed to stay on track with your goals. Remember, financial success is a journey, not a destination. Surround yourself with positivity. Engage with communities or mentors who share your financial values and goals. Their support and insights can inspire and motivate you along your financial journey. Lastly, practice patience and perseverance. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is financial security. Stay committed to your goals, trust the process, and believe in your ability to achieve financial freedom. In conclusion, creating positive financial habits is about mindset, discipline, and consistency. By setting clear goals, budgeting wisely, saving diligently, investing smartly, managing debt responsibly, educating yourself, automating processes, reviewing progress, seeking support and staying patient, you're laying a solid foundation for a prosperous financial future. Are you ready to take charge of your finances and embark on this transformative journey? 
Conclusion and Final Thoughts Welcome back to Wisdom Woven, where we've explored profound insights into how small changes in our daily habits can lead to significant shifts in our financial well-being. Throughout this journey, we've uncovered the subtle ways our belongings and mindset can either block or invite prosperity into our lives. Now, let's wrap up with some powerful takeaways that can truly transform your relationship with money. Let's start by reflecting on what we've learned about the impact of mindfulness. By being present and aware of our thoughts and actions, we can make better financial decisions. Mindfulness isn't just about meditation. It's about consciously choosing how we spend, save, and invest our money. Each mindful choice adds up, creating a pathway to financial security. Non-attachment has also been a key theme. Buddha taught us the wisdom of letting go of what no longer serves us. This applies not only to physical clutter but also to outdated beliefs about money. When we release attachment to scarcity and embrace abundance, we open ourselves to new opportunities and possibilities. Throughout this video, we've discussed how our personal belongings carry energy signatures that affect our mood and mindset. By decluttering and organizing our physical space, we create room for positive energies to flow. This simple practice can have profound effects on our mental clarity and financial success. Consider the power of gratitude in transforming our financial reality. When we focus on what we have and express gratitude for it, we shift our perspective from lack to abundance. This mindset shift is foundational in attracting more wealth and prosperity into our lives. Remember, every financial decision we make is interconnected with our overall well-being. By aligning our actions with our values and goals, we can create a harmonious and fulfilling life. Whether it's through mindful spending, saving for the future, or giving back to others, each choice shapes our financial journey. As we conclude, think about how you can apply these teachings in your own life. Start by decluttering your bag and your mind, letting go of what no longer serves you. Practice mindfulness in your daily financial activities, from budgeting to investing. Cultivate a mindset of abundance and gratitude, knowing that your thoughts and actions shape your reality. By integrating these practices into your life, you're not just managing money. You're creating a pathway to financial freedom and fulfillment. Embrace the journey of transformation and remember that small changes today can lead to a brighter financial future tomorrow. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of wisdom and wealth. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven for more insightful content on improving your life holistically. Together, let's continue weaving wisdom into every aspect of our journey towards prosperity.